Just checking if everything is fine. Is the zoom on? We're ready to go. Today we are looking at Maurice Edmond proving that she definitely don't need a microphone. You guys decided on my community tab that the next artist we're going to review is Maurice Edmond. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, vocal lessons on my homepage, singing analysis on my homepage as well, and let's get it started. What a crazy whistle there, that's amazing. Now you probably know from my channel what is important for projection is not only a good foundation and vocal technique but it's also your whole body. Make sure that you sing from the diaphragm, I mean that's a myth that that doesn't exist, but make sure that you engage and activate all of your core muscles, all of your supporting muscles so that you are able to project very well. Twang is a really really good opportunity to get louder and just you know to have a higher hertz and to project better as well. But overall, if you use the intentional cracks that she's doing, really make sure that you're not just cracking because lack of technique, but really make sure that you kind of make it a Sia style or like her. I think she's even doing it much more healthier than Sia because when I listen to Sia, I'm never really sure if she actually, you know, is this a crack that she's intentionally doing or unintentionally. But yeah, so also be careful with those kind of things. Let's continue. Should make a cover from that song. <laughs> You can't really see how, how she improved overall, right? So if you look at those old stuff and you look like at her latest things, that's... Okay, 
let's make till here, right? Because watch time on YouTube is only three minutes, and I'm sure you're gonna make it short and sweet. But overall, um, yeah, it's basic foundation, good technique, you know, good breath management, good projection with your body, using your body to sustain. Of course, it's it's nice to see some of her old stuff and see how she progressive during the years. Because you know, we reviewed Shimori's that I think every week once in a while. So um, her latest stuff like Never Enough or the Wish Bus things is just like really out of space. So even if you're gifted and even if you're already superb talent, you still can even get better and better, right? Also, I also have to say that the resemblance with Mariah Carey is also there. If you close your eyes, you might also kind of notice, you notice the resemblance there, the influence uh, from our queen, Mariah Carey, and so really, really went well done. Uh, I do like the whistles and how effortlessly it always comes across when she's doing it, when it's not, and it's difficult. Some people can do it, and some people are just anatomically not capable of doing it. So it's just, you know, somewhere you, if there is an anatomical stop if you want it or not. But yeah, that's, that's the set part though. <laughs> My friends, let me know if you enjoyed that video. If you want to have a greeting in my next video, then please write down hashtag and your name, and then you're gonna receive a greeting from me in my next video. Put a like, subscribe, hashtag weaponize your voice, get strong, kick ass, and I see you in my next video.